much needed food is being brought into the south of Haiti. Many communities are becoming increasingly desperate. Electricity cut off, water and food are scarce. The country was already in the grip of a cholera epidemic and the warnings are stark. If aid does not reach people quickly, disease will spread, famine will become inevitable. The town of Jeremy was all but destroyed. Here, the United Nations children's charity UNICEF is trying to help. They say 66,000 houses in this town alone have been destroyed and schools are being used as shelters. Among the hardest hit, the youngest. Dee Stewart is 13. He told how his family lost everything. The tin roof flew away, roofs and tree branches flew away, water started coming in, things were flying everywhere. The water surrounded us. That night it almost reached us. We were able to get out, but left all our things behind. We had to get them from a ditch. 15-year-old Levinson described what he saw. The wind, the wind, all the coconut trees were destroyed. All sorts of trees fell down. The wind destroyed everyone's house. And this is seven-year-old Ernica. All my school books were ruined. At this clinic in the small town of Marfranc, this father has just been told his child has cholera. The UN says 750,000 people in the country need help, and this will cost around $120 million. Crops were destroyed, which means the country will face a severe famine as the southwestern peninsula is considered the breadbasket of Haiti, so the needs are urgent. Hurricane Matthew may be long gone from Haiti, but the damage it has done remains. And if aid does not reach the most vulnerable soon, the situation threatens to get even worse. Katrina Renton, BBC News.